First Nurse here, um, making a fun video today. It's kind of an answer to a question that I got on the channel earlier today. So, a young lady by the name of Vina309, shout out, <laughs> sent me a message telling me that she was looking to see if the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour, which is, are these two bags, were roomier than the Uptown Mediums, which are these two bags. And the other bag that she brought up in her question was the Prada, which is, um, it's a double tote Safiano leather. If you don't know what Safiano leather is, it's a f just lovely fabric, I mean, lovely leather. It's pretty, I think, in my opinion, sturdy, um, which I actually looked at getting that bag, but I was like, eh, and kind of went more for these. So, um, I do know that bag. I don't have one here to compare. So what I did is I brought out my Celine, the uh, micro luggage in the drummed calfskin. And I'm just going to show you guys these different bags. So, of course, you all know the Sac de Jour is a classic, iconic St. Laurent bag. I have it in a review on these individually, but in the future we'll get there. Um, this blue one here was actually my first bag. Um, well, one of my first bags. It's still to this day my actually my favorite bag. So as you can see, we have the Saint Laurent. This is Sac de Jour. This is the small. So I'm gonna, you know, you have your, your key here. Okay. Oh, look, I still have the wrapper on it because I never take it off. So we've got that. And then inside the bag, as you guys can see, it now this is important because inside the older sac de jour which this one is it has a suede or microfiber inside so it's actually lined and then the middle pocket does not come out so as you guys can see there the middle pocket there does not come out it does open and you can get stuff in there and if you need to make the bag bigger you can actually unsnap it there you go and you can kind of widen it if you need to which I have done before. And I have my laptop here because I wanted to show you guys this. This is a MacBook and it does slide right in. Hold it beautifully, okay? So I don't think it'll fit papers in it um, unless you want to brave that and take them a little wrinkled off for the will of fashion, which I'm always down for. So that's those. Okay, so that's this sac de jour. Now, um, in the newer sac de jour, which is this one, number one, it's a little bit lighter, and number two, the inside is a little bit different because the inside is not lined at all. So it is just the leather on the inside, it's smooth on the inside, it's textured on the outside. I'm gonna get that in kind of close so you guys can see that. And then the neat thing about this one is it does unsnap just like the um, earlier version of the sac de jour. So it unsnaps, you can kind of pull it open a little bit easier. But this nifty little pocket on the inside here actually comes out. So I'm gonna unsnap that on the inside. And then you have another envelope. So, oh, there's my keys and my thing for it. Now it does have you know, get little texture bumps there, but that's about it. So I wanna show you the bag without it inside and see how different and how much bit more space you have in there. It does have feet, so of course still a great bag. Okay, I'll put this back in here and it snaps back in really easily. It takes its shape back together. So you just kind of squish, snap back, squish, snap back. Well, there we go. Same thing over here. There we go. And just readjust that back together. And also the same over here on this side. There we go. And then your bag is back to its structure itself. So put that there. And then over here, what you guys saw on my review is the Uptown Mediums. So the Mediums, of course, is a fabulous bag. This, Both of mine are in smooth leather. This one's in cream. This one's in dark note. And these, I guess they stretch a little bit more, kind of pull open. Uh, but the middle does not come out. 
and your strap is shorter. So the MacBook actually fits in these easily. It also fits in the, in the Uptown Medium pretty easily too. It could just slides right in the middle. Um, but you do have it right there at the lip where the sac de jour, you go all the way in. So take that back out. And there's that. And of course, you know, the envelope comes out. So it's, it's all great. So lastly is the Celine micro luggage. So we're doing this one in place of the Prada double, um, the double bag in Safiano. So sorry about that. Um, so this one always stuff my bags. I always want them to keep their shape, even if they're not going to. This one is actually pretty roomy. I have a receipt in here because I carried it last weekend. So as you can see, it just opens up for the whole wide world to see it. Um, it is, when it's opened all the way, it's about 14 across. And this one is about, I'd say 11 high and then about six wide. So the good thing about that is, is that it, it holds up a little higher as you can see, just a tad. So there's the three together and let me move these over so we can get a good view of them all. The laptop also fits in here. You can go sideways and it fits perfectly. It'll hit the bottom and press just a little bit. That's actually why I like to go this way a little bit better. Sits in there if you want to use that. But for everyday carrying and roominess, these are great bags to compare. So I'm actually going to pull back the sling just a little bit just since we were more specific to the Saint Laurent. And I'll let you guys look at that again. So this is your Saint Laurent, the um, Sac de Jour, and this is a small. There are two sizes below it. Um, and then over here you have your Uptown by St. Laurent, and this is the medium. So both fabulous bags. Of course, the Sac de Jour has my heart. Um, but I uh, hope that helped out with picking out which bag is the roomiest. And thanks guys so much again for tuning into my channel. If you have more questions, you like my videos, please hit subscribe and uh, look out for some more to come. I love answering your questions and hearing from you guys and having first talk. So bye.